Hey guys, it's Cooks here, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft thumbnail. Now, before the video begins, I just want to say that according to YouTube statistics, only a small percentage of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you do enjoy the video and you want to help me out, do me a favor and turn that red subscribe button grey and like the video. Anyway, with that being said, let's show you how to make this thumbnail. Alright guys, we're on my desktop right now and the first thing that I normally do is uh, hop into Bad Lion and uh, just play a game of Bed Wars with replay mod on and from that I'll just end up going to the replay viewer, uh, taking a screenshot of whatever I'm on shaders on and then we can actually move into the thumbnail. So I'm not actually going to show you guys that because it takes too long and it's pretty obvious what you have to do. Now I use Photoshop for making my thumbnails, I know a lot of people use paint.net so I'll leave a paint.net. Uh, thumbnail tutorial in the description, but there are if you don't actually have the money for th Photoshop uh, There are ways you can get it for free. Uh, I'm not actually gonna say how but if you just google it uh, There may be some ways now this really great uh, Hypixel youtuber Trippus He's pretty underrated, but he actually made a thumbnail pack and this comes with a bunch of GFX and a bunch of really cool things And that's what I use for most of my thumbnails now. I just delete this layer and the background layer and You're left with all these cool things here uh, you guys can see you got different fonts, character styles, uh, the one, the one, the right in the middle is the one that I normally use. And you got text styles is what I use for a lot of my text. And you also have effects, which you guys can see in here, like the, uh, these effects that I use for most of my thumbnails. And you guys can just pick whatever effects you want, and I'm just going to be walking through how I make my thumbnail. Alright guys, so I'm just going to go to percent after edit percent. Now this is where your actual mic .micro folder is going to be, so you're just going to double click on that. Scroll down and go to where it says screenshots. Now you guys can scroll all the way down to your screenshots and find one that you're going to be using for your thumbnail. I'm just going to use one that I used for another video. So this is for my last video, I used this thumbnail right here and I'm pretty much kind of going to be replicating what I did for my last video. Now we're just going to right click this and first things first, rasterize the layer. Now we can get on to the first thing that I normally do with every single thumbnail, which is cutting out the character. Now for a lot of you guys, you'll see this tool right here, the lasso tool. All you guys want to do is right click that and go to polygonal lasso tool, alt, and uh, scroll through scroll to zoom in and out. And we're just going to pretty much be connecting the dots uh, of our character right here until we have a full outlined version of him. Yeah, so you guys, uh, we're about halfway through, and as you guys can see, I'm just pretty much just clicking my mouse wherever uh, I want to change, uh, change where the line's gonna go. So pretty much, I'm just gonna, it's pretty much just clicking, connecting the dots, and you guys will figure it out once you actually use the tool. Alright guys, so we just outlined our entire character and now all we want to do is just hold control and press J and that will create a layer of just our character right here, you guys can see. The next thing that we're going to want to do is right click this and as you guys can see, there are character layer styles right here and whatever one you guys want to use, uh, so I'll just use number 4 right here, this is one I normally use, you guys want to right click it, go to blending options and then hit new style. Then you can name it and save it, whatever you want. And when you go to the Styles tab, it will be right there. So going back to our character, we're going to right-click, go to Blending Options again. Styles, and whatever style you had, you can just right-click that. Now, personally, I think this doesn't really match the thumbnail that we're going to be going for. So I like to normally turn off the gradient uh, right here, or at least lower the opacity. I think I'm just going to turn it off with this, uh, with this thumbnail right here. I want to show you guys a really cool effect that I've been using for my characters. So, just like we uh, duplicated the layer before, we're going to hold, while selecting our character, we're going to hold Control plus J. And that's going to create a copy of our character, you guys can see right here. And we're actually going to drag this copy uh, below our character right here. And this is what we're going to be using for, you've guys seen my newest thumbnails. They have this kind of like, uh, like, blurred version of the character behind them as if they're running really really fast and i think this just looks awesome so we're gonna be creating that uh i learned this from sammy green so you guys want to go over to the top hit filter then hit blur and we're going to be using radial blur right here now for the blur method hit zoom and whichever direction your character is gonna you want the blur to be you guys can see there's this little box here and kind of position it to wherever like whichever direction your character is jumping uh leave the amount at 10 and that should be right there now, all you want to do from this is actually hide the effects of this character right here, just by hitting the little 
eye icon here. And we're just gonna kind of position him back a little bit uh, from our character. Kind of line him up. Uh, we might make it slightly bigger this direction. And honestly, that looks fine in my opinion. You guys can see it has this little blur effect. Now, the next thing we do, uh, and it's to blow the background, I do this for every single one of my thumbnails, and I'm, I'm showing what I've been doing recently. So, select this main layer that we had before, this is our screenshot, and go to, uh, filter. We're gonna go to blur again, and we're gonna go hit motion blur. Set the angle to zero, uh, using this thing, or just typing it in here, and set the distance to 11, hit OK. And it kind of gives it this hazy effect, uh, not too strong of blur. And we're going to go to filter again, blur as well. And we're going to go to surface blur. Uh, just copy my settings right here and hit OK. And it kind of smooths it out a bit more and it looks very nice. So this looks pretty good for, for a thumbnail so far. And the next thing I like to do is add in some text. So I'm just going to select the text tool right here, guys. And drop in some text. Uh, you guys can use the Minecraft font if you want. And I'll just be using that for here. Uh, again, it's in the fonts uh, thing if you want it, and you can just save the font in the Photoshop. Of course, you can always just download fonts and change it right here or over at the character area. For the Minecraft font, I like to type it in all capitals. So, Minecraft thumbnail tutorial. And honestly, that looks pretty good there. And you can mess around with like the height of the, um, of the actual text. But honestly, that looks pretty good. I'm going to drag this above our characters and just leave it like that. Uh, Control T to select it and move it around. And I'm going to go probably going to increase the size a little bit. I might actually move it under my characters so I can have a nice effect of it being under here. And I'm going to give it some rotation and maybe make it slightly bigger on this angle right here. Now, it looks pretty plain right here. But as you guys saw before, that we do have the text layer styles. And you guys can save these just by, uh, I'm pretty sure, just right-clicking them. Uh, blending options and doing what you did with the character layer styles. Alright guys, so now what we want to do is go to uh, the uh, text right here. So Minecraft Thumbnail Tutorial, right-click, go to Blending Options again. And what we want to do here is just give it a bit of a uh, bit of, you know, just make it look better. <laughs> so I have a few different text styles here. This one right here I actually made myself. Uh, if you want to know what I used for this one, it's pretty much this text effect right here. But I went and selected all the effects and just added a black uh, outside stroke. And just increased the uh, size a little bit like this. And you guys can kind of make your own like that. For this video, I think I'm just going to leave it like this, honestly. It looks pretty good. And yeah, with these styles, you don't have to do anything. And they already look pretty good just with these presets. You guys can see if you have a red, like a blue video yellow video all these kind of things and they have all these different colors and it's honestly pretty epic so i'm gonna leave it at this one i think that looks pretty good and i'm just gonna hit okay and th that already looks pretty epic uh and if we want to have uh some more effects like for example for the character we can open up the effects tab and say we wanted this effect right here and again control plus t to move it and we're just gonna scale this up and move it behind the player now that right there looks pretty good so i'm gonna leave that as it is and you guys can choose this, have a bunch of different uh, color overlays if you want to change the colors. But what we're going to be doing here is using the arrow. So we're going to use this to point uh, to the text. And see, as you guys can see, because this is in the effects group and it's behind the player, when you try, when the, it goes underneath the player, uh, you can't see it, which I think is really cool. It's good for hiding like the end of the arrow. Now we might just scale this down a slight bit right here. I think that looks pretty good and as you guys can see it's red and we it, this kind of blue theme so what we're going to do is go into blending options and we're going to select gradient overlay right here we're going to go gradient and we're going to choose a blue because this is a blue uh, video i've got all oh, blue theme thumbnail i should say and select a blue that kind of looks uh what the blue we're using for the video so this one looks all right but it's a little too bright in that one area so i'm just gonna uh, change the scale a slight bit, uh, that looks about right, and we're gonna just change the angle, uh, try and have it so the blue covers majority of, uh, the arrow, and that looks pretty good there. Now, you guys won't have the actual cool arrow effect, uh, that we had before, because this is going over the top of the arrow, but we can just create a simple drop shadow, and... Uh, you guys can mess with the settings. Don't turn the noise up at all. This looks extremely ugly in my opinion. And something that like that will just make it look slightly better. 
Uh, you guys can have a stroke to it. Uh, that looks pretty good like it is right there. Uh, you can always change this to like be like a blue color. Uh, that looks pretty cool, honestly. I might just make it uh, slightly darker. I don't know. Something like that looks pretty good. And we'll just hit OK. So we're going to click this uh, little box uh, with the plus right here. And it's going to create us a new layer. Uh, and what we're going to do is, you guys probably see the paint bucket tool here. We're going to right click that, go to the gradient tool. Now, it doesn't matter what color it is, but we're just going to drag this across. And you guys can see it will cover our entire thumbnail. Now, make sure the layer is on top just by dragging it above all these. And we're going to go to blending options right here. So, once we have the layer here, we're going to go to the fill and turn this all the way down. And as you guys can see, everything has disappeared. But we are going to do this really cool effect with this. So, what we're going to do is we want to select stroke and set the position to the inside. Now, we've got to put the size to 18. This is what I normally use. Uh, depending on what you guys want, you guys can find the right size. Uh, but yeah, 18 for me works very well. And what we're going to do is go for blend mode and make this overlay. Now you guys can see, you guys can see, it's actually made it transparent and what we can do is turn this full type to a gradient and find a very cool gradient that we want. So we're going to choose that blue gradient that we had before. Hit OK, hit OK again. You guys can see now there's this blue border around the screen and this looks pretty nice honestly. Uh, and this is um, just a really good effect, uh, it just adds a bit more uh, depth to the thumbnail. You guys can also probably, I'm pretty sure, put some kind of drop shadow on this. Yeah, so this just adds a lot more depth to the thumbnail. I think it looks really nice like it is. Uh, depending on what color scheme you have, you can just change the gradient. One thing I have actually noticed, though, is that the text is under the effects, which uh, kind of messed up around there where the T is. So uh, I fixed that. Uh, just by dragging the text on top. If you have any problems like that, uh, you guys can probably figure them out. It's very simple. You won't have too many problems with this. Now, so all we have to do now is hit file, save as, because we don't want to hit save or else that will overwrite the actual thumbnail pack. Save as, and hit save on your computer or the cloud, depending on what you want. Now, save this wherever you want to save it. I have an actual thumbnails, uh, thumbnails folder right here. And you're just going to save whatever you want and make sure the save time. Uh, save as type make sure that's PNG and then you just want to hit save and make sure it is the smallest uh, uh, File size possible anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video uh, That's how you make a really simple minecraft thumbnail using photoshop again. There are ways you can get photoshop for free And I hope you enjoyed so uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye more life for my dick shit. I'm getting tired of all the same shit. I want to see my family want to see my friends have been slept on like my name